two. Welcome back to Bros Bows. Today we're going to take this 06 Yamaha Grizzly and we're going to do the front and rear brakes on her. Should be about a uh, 40 minute job all set and done. Okay you guys, tools required for this job. 5 mil Allen key. 12 mil socket and extension helps. And a 17 mil socket to bust off your tire. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna throw some blocks on the front end here, get the jack on, jack up this tire, and we're gonna take it off. So tip number one, if you want to keep your tire bent while you're doing this, it'll have a tendency to straighten out and make it difficult to work on. Uh, you can throw a block under your uh, the tire that you're not working on. Okay guys, so the second thing we're going to do here is there's two Allen keys here. These are holding in your brake pad. So what I like to do first is either take these right out or just loosen them off because once you pull your caliper off, it's a little harder to break them off and then they just screw right on them. So the next thing we're going to do, we got two bolts right here, there's one on the top, one on the bottom. We're going to pop these two off using our 12 mil socket and this will pull your caliper right off. One pad just fell right out. And then the other one pop right off. Clean all the dirt and debris out of there. And there you have it. Okay guys, so now what I like to do next is you can see the piston in here for your caliper. And I like to just push it in with your fingers as far as you can. It makes your pads go in in a lot easier then you take your one pad drop it in and make sure that pistons all the way back grab your other pad throw that one in then you can grab bolts and those should just go right back on in like so get one started here Once you get those started, it's easy. You should have enough room to slide your caliper back in. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll get these bolts back on here on the back side. It's good just to get everything started loose before you do your final tighten on this. Loose, loose, loose. Work those back in. Just 
snug them up for now. goes up. That's it. Front pads are done. Put your tire back on and we'll carry on to the back. That was probably about 10 minutes by the time I took that tire off. All right guys, last thing we're gonna do with this front tire here is we're gonna torque this front tire back down. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's 40 foot pounds on these. So we'll set the torque wrench to 40. We should be golden. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this tire off. All right, guys. So this here is the back side of the quad. And if you could look right in here, there's only one set of pads for the back and that's them right there. So basically what we're gonna do here is there's a little plug on this end here. We're gonna take that plug off, remove this bolt that slides out. This clip pulls out and from there you should have no problems pulling out your two pads, one on this side, one on that side. Let's get it done. So first things first, we're gonna take this off here. And this could be a little awkward. It is, gets tight in there, especially if you're a lefty. So I'll loosen that off. And what I like to do is just grab a five mil socket. And it's a little easier to get it on there because once it's broken, you could just spin it right out. Take your time because this is a plastic cap on here and it is threaded. And that's it right there. Okay, don't want to lose that. Once that's done, let's throw our Allen key back on there. Break that off. Start working that long bolt. So like I said, if you get a socket in there, it's a little shorter. Just don't drop it, because then you gotta fish it out. Alright guys, time to reassemble. So that one goes in there. This one goes in on this side. So remember for this clip, it's shaped different. It's kind of bent like that. So you want it going in just like that. 
Now, the tricky part is lining out everything back up. This is where needle nose come in quite handy. And an extra set of hands if you had. So once you get it like that, it just takes a little bit of time, line everything up, and then tighten everything right back up. So once you got it all the way in, just grab your Allen key again, snug it back up, and then don't forget your little plastic cap on the end. That's not plastic actually, it's steel, wow. And then throw your Allen key back on and just snug that back up and you're done. Rear brakes. Don't forget to put the jack back down, otherwise you're just going to spin your tire over. guys we're done 45 minutes front and rear brakes don't forget like us on facebook subscribe to our youtube channel now i'm going to get my brother to get this thing out of my garage i'm out